Okay, let's take a look at um, a program that calculates the average. Okay, so this is going to be an array example for average. And, um, okay. Now I'm going to have a list box. And I'm going to have a text box. This is where I put my input and my numbers in. I'll click a button to add it to my list box. Now we'll put a lot of functionality in this. I won't allow them to remove any any uh, numbers or anything. Because we're just seeing how to do arrays. So we're seeing an example of that. Okay, and then a button down here. And when I click, we'll calculate the average. And uh, two labels to put my result in. Okay, so for this uh, label, I'll say the it's average. And this one, I'll just make it invisible. So I said visible or false. And this one, I wanted to say um, calculate average. And then this one, I'm just going to click Add. And I'll put a uh, dash and then greater than, just for documentation purposes, so you can see that we're adding a number. And I'm going to give this um, this text box a name. So I'll call it TB underscore num. This list box will give a name. I'll call it LBOX numbers. Okay, so uh, this label here, I need to give it a name. It'll be LB underscore average. And when I click the uh, calculate average, it's going to calculate the average here. So this is where I'm going to put our, pro our calculation for average. And if I come back here, click this add, this is what's going to add our numbers. So add numbers to the list box. Okay, well, I'm going to bring in a number. I'll call it double num. And I'll say num is equal to. And I don't need to, I don't actually need to convert it to a number, but I'll go ahead and do that here. Uh, num is equal to tb num dot text. Now that's a string right there, remember? So I need to do my double dot parse. Either that or try parse. I'll start with that one. Okay, now I brought in a number. Now I want to add it to that uh, list box. So I'll do lbox numbers dot items dot add. And the uh, reason why I wanted to do it this way is because I want to show you. See when it pops up and it says add and it says object item. That object there means it can be anything. It can be a double, it can be an integer, it can be a string. Um, it's really open on what, what you can add in there. Okay. Now let's run this and just see how that part works. Strange as it is when we're doing the items.add. It's using the concept of a um, of an array there. Okay, and again, I'm not going to put any more functionality in that. So when I click this button, I want it to go through and calculate the average of that. So up here in the average calculation, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new array, and this is what I'll bring in. So I got double, and then I'll do a beginning bracket, closing bracket, space, and I'll call this the um, uh, num array. Now I need to declare my size of my um, array. So I'm going to say num array is equal to new, double, and then um, here I'm going to put in a size. But let me put in, I, I think it'll let me do lbox numbers dot um, items count. 
Not sure if I need a, bra a princes there. We'll see. No red squiggly, so that looks like it's okay. In this manner, we haven't hard-coded the um, size of the array in. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. This double uh, num array, that declares it. And this creates a new instance of it, so it gets it ready to use. Okay. Well, now I'm going to loop through my um, through my list box. So, for... INTX and I may have to play with them run the different program languages are running together in this <laughs> x equals zero continue while x is less than or or less than um, l box numbers dot items dot count and then x plus plus okay so we're bringing in the numbers um now when I bring it in, I'm gonna just say it's an STR. I guess I guess better clear that up here. Not STR, um I guess just numb. I'm trying to think what it'll come in as. I'm gonna do a parse. So it should come in just as a double. I shouldn't have to put it anywhere temporary. I was going to put it somewhere temporary. Now I am putting it somewhere temporary here to really uh, illustrate what I'm doing. And then double dot parse. And then lbox numbers dot items. And then I'm going to put in my index here of x. Now that's uh, going to be um, the actual object. So if I do a dot to string and then beginning parentheses closing parentheses okay now let's talk about that you can't just end it at uh, this right here this would be an object um, so that's why I do a dot to string so it'll return a string represents current current object and then the parse uh, changes it to uh, double then I want to put in my array so I'll say num array and then x is equal to num. Okay, when it's all said and done, then my num array should be a list of numbers. Kind of like Excel, if you want to think of it in that terms. When I say Excel, let me show that. You can think of a, an array, one dimensional. It's just like one column where you got uh, numbers here. Here I have four numbers. There's a length uh, corresponding with this. So over here then to click to calculate the average, I'm going to have uh, variable sum average, and I shouldn't need count because that I should be able to get off of um, one of the others. But I'll say sum is equal to zero. And then I'll loop through. For int x equals 0, continue while x is less than. Um, and uh, if I do num array dot, and let's see if there's a count or length associated with that. There's a count there. Array dot length. There it is. Length. Now, I might be saying, well, why are you doing less than? Why don't you do a less than or equal to? You're numbering on your array. This is element 0. This is element 1. This is element 2. And this is element 3. So it may not be what you're used to seeing, but we need to go from 0 to 3 if we got four elements. So over here, if length is equal to 4, then I want to continue while x is less than, the, the, than 4. Or from 0 to 3. And then x plus plus. Okay, and then sum is equal to sum plus num array. And then I'll put an x on there. It's already a double, so I don't need to do any kind of convert or anything. Then average is going to equal to sum divided by the num array dot length. And 
and then we want to return that value back. So I'll say lb average dot text is equal to average dot to string. Whenever you're working with list boxes, combo boxes, even files to a certain extent, you're working with a, a concept where you want to keep going until you're done. And um, with arrays, that's controlled by the item count or the length if we're talking about the, um, the like a numerical array. Item count is the equivalent of the implementation of arrays for list boxes. Okay, so let's run this. Let me use the same numbers I had over here in Excel. 1356. Okay, so I do 1, one 3, 5, and 6. Click Calculate Average. And it's not working. So let's go see what's wrong. Okay, let's make sure it's getting down here. Put a breakpoint, click start. And uh, one, yeah, I didn't do one, but that's okay. Even six or five. Okay, click out average. Okay, I'm getting down here. Item count is equal to four, so it's going to continue while x is less than that. Let me do a, I think it's F11. Let me come up here and make sure of that. Step into F11. Okay. Gets down to here. Changes that. Signs it to num array. Now if I... There I see it's sign 2. So that's working fine. I'm doing F11. Does that. Again num array. I can expand this. I see it's 3. So that's good. And I'm guessing that'll work on all of them. Um, num array, expand that, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's, that looks good. Get down to here, sum is equal to 0. My length of that is 4, so that's correct. Sum is equal to 0 initially. Num array of x. Okay, sum is 2. That's right. Sum is 5. That's right. Sum is currently equal to 14. That seems reasonable. Now, I probably want to divide it by this, which is an integer, is where it causes a problem. But let me see. Average is equal to 3.5. No, that's right. Oh, I didn't make it visible. I figured I had coding problems. Let me just shut off that breakpoint. And uh, LB average dot visible equals true. Now let's run it. And uh, 1356. This time I'll try to use that, the correct ones. 1356. And then click Calculate Average. We get 3.75. 3.75. Is that right? Let's come over here and I'll do equals average. I'll select those 3.75 okay that, worked, that checks so that's our our program demonstrating how to use an array um, sometimes you can just loop through the list boxes directly you don't need to put it into a separate array it's only if you're wanting to do something a little bit fancier that it actually make make sense to put it into an array um, probably a, probably the average program isn't a good example of that because you could you could do it all within this uh, loop right here. But anyway, that shows you how to work with arrays.